Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and this is the second video of my series How to Make an SBRX Menu. And we're going to start out by just making uh, an eBoot for our menu so that it can actually load it. So, first thing you want to do is just understand where your file is located on your computer, your SPRX file, because in the previous video we clicked F7 to compile it. So, where did it compile? So, generally speaking, um, if you go into Libraries and then Documents, Go under Visual Studio 2010, Projects, Tutorial, wherever you named it, PS3 underscore debug, and right here you'll see your SPRX menu dot SPRX file. Okay, cool. So I'm going to minimize that. And we're going to actually build the eBoot um, from scratch. Well, I guess, I don't know why I said for, from scratch, but whatever, you'll see what I do. So I have a whole folder called PS3 Development, and this is where I make eBoots. Um, which is pretty easy. There's like a self signer you'll see. I'll, I'll upload this whole folder online so you could download it in the description. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go inside and you'll see true ancestor underscore self underscore designer blah, blah blah. Just go inside there and you have this resigner application. So first thing you need is to get the debug eBoot for MW3. Here's the debug eBoot. I downloaded it online. I'll give you the, uh, the link in the description for this too. It's for all regions because it's debug. And go ahead and put this inside this folder. Okay. Which, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but you have to be on Dex to do this. So don't try to do this on, on Kex. It's not going to work. So there we go. It's inside here. Go ahead and double click on Resigner Run. So first we're going to click A, and this will enable 4.21 plus custom firmware uh, support. So click A, enter. And click Y for yes, click enter, cool, now it's on. And click 7, which will decrypt the eboot.bin, click enter, it says decrypt finished, and we have a little eboot.elf right here. So close out of this, you go ahead and cut the eboot.elf, go back to the previous uh, location in this folder, click paste, so the eboot.elf is in here. Go ahead and double click on the SPRX elf builder, click run, and click on the three dots, and click eboot.elf. Okay. And as for here, name it whatever your SPRX menu is called. Mine is called tutorial. So if you're not sure, go back inside your Visual Studio project. It says tutorial.sprx. So that is what we name it inside the elf builder. So go ahead and click build. And here you have the SPRX underscore eboot.elf. So basically what this does is it connects the eBoot file with your SPRX menu. So whenever the eBoot gets called, the SPRX gets called as well. So now we need to actually encrypt this back into eBoot.bin. So first I'm just going to call this original eBoot.elf um, O, eBoot.elf, because it's original. I'm going to rename this to just eBoot.elf. Now I'll go into the CMD in here. So inside this CMD, go ahead and write make underscore f self dot exe, just like you see right here. Then space in capital letters eboot dot elf space eboot dot bin. Click enter, and you should see a brand new eboot dot bin be created here. Close out of this, and now you have the new eboot. So. Uh, connect to your PS3 with whatever you're using. I actually like using Target Manager more than FileZilla myself. So I'm already connected with my PS3. You would, all you do is just click, uh, right click, connect, blah, blah. Go into dev underscore HDD zero. First, we're gonna be putting the eBoot in. Click game in lower caps. Scroll down to MW3. Blues 30838, for me at least. Click USRDIR. And inside here, drag the brand new eboot.bin. And it says succeeded, that's good. Uh, now you can just go ahead and go back to the USRDIR folder. Or not the USRDIR, I mean the HDD0. Scroll down to TMP. And now you can close it at the PS3 development folder. And go inside your project folder where your SPRX is located. Simply take the SPRX and drag it right into the TMP folder like that. Click close out of this and it should say succeeded right here as well. Um, and good. 
so now it's in here it's in our PS3 so I'm gonna pull up my PS3 give me a second all right so we could go straight in MW3 I'd like to uh, note that with this SPRX menu, the loading time for MW3 is a bit longer. You'll have a black screen for maybe 10 to 15 seconds, so just be patient, but it will load, okay? So go ahead and click on it, and I'll meet you when it's loaded. Okay, so it's loaded. I'm going to the split screen, auto sign, first recon, and I'll just go ahead and click left. Okay, so that first time I clicked left and it didn't work for some reason, so I went back into my code and uh, it was kind of weird. I kind of just redid everything, um, like pretty much the same exact way. Like this function is exactly how it was before. Pretty sure this is how it was before. I think everything is just like it was, but first time it didn't work, so I just redid it, recompiled it, and it worked fine. So if just to be safe you want to redo it, just look at this code here on prx.cpp. Look at this, pause it. Then you could go to functions, copy this, pause it, but everything's pretty much the same as it was before, but now it works. So when you click left, god mode, it turns on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I think I covered everything I wanted to. I showed you how to make the eBoot, and um, the test worked because it does turn on when you click left. Uh, so next time we'll actually probably start working on the menu itself. So see you then.